Hello, and welcome to another AES Drilling Fluids Tech Tip. We'll address a basic drilling fluids concept in hopes that we can help you tackle far more complex problems in the future. In this tech tip, we'll talk about the chloride ion content test. This test is performed in both water-based and oil-based mud checks. We'll discuss the differences between the two and their relevance while drilling. The chloride ion content test measures the concentration of chloride ions in drilling fluid filtrate. In order to perform the test, one milliliter of drilling fluid filtrate is diluted with 25 to 50 milliliters of distilled water. To that, add two to three drops of phenolphthalein to the test solution. If a pink color is seen, add 0.02N sulfuric acid until the pink color has disappeared. Next, add five to 10 drops of potassium chromate indicator solution while stirring. Begin adding silver nitrate solution dropwise, and you'll notice a white precipitate forming. These are the silver ions in the silver nitrate solution reacting with chloride ions in the filtrate to form silver chloride, a white solid. It's worth mentioning that silver ions will react with bromide ions in the same way leading to inaccurate test results if both salts are present. When all of the chlorides have reacted, the silver ions will react with chromate ions from the indicator solution to form silver chromate, which causes the color to change from yellow to red. This color change marks the endpoint of the test. There can be confusion as to what the true endpoint of the test is. API 13B1 states that the endpoint has been reached if the orange-red color persists for 30 seconds. Adding silver nitrate solution until a brick-red color is seen can lead to inaccurate test results. For oil-based drilling fluids, the test measures the concentration of chloride ions in the whole fluid. A prerequisite for the test calls for the test sample to be acidic with a pH below 7. This is typically achieved by utilizing the same sample that was previously used for the alkalinity test during the oil-based mud check, as that test is titrated with sulfuric acid. Three milliliters of potassium chromate indicator solution are added to the sample while stirring. Begin adding silver nitrate solution dropwise until a salmon pink color remains stable for at least one minute. It may be necessary to stop stirring and allow for separation of phases in order to observe the color change more clearly. The volume of silver chloride solution in milliliters required to reach the endpoint of the test is multiplied by 1000 if using 0.0282N silver nitrate solution, or by 10,000 if using 0.282N silver nitrate solution. This calculation yields the chloride ion concentration in units of milligrams per liter. For an oil-based mud, the chloride value in the whole mud is converted to water phase salinity, or the chlorides of only the brine phase. Water phase salinity is usually reported in parts per million, although sometimes it's referenced as weight percent salt or in milligrams per liter. Chlorides are an indicator of the water activity of the fluid, an important consideration to limit water movement into and away from the formation in sensitive wells. Chlorides can also indicate a water flow by a drop in high salinity fluids or an increase in low salinity fluids. The chloride ion content test, while simple, can provide insight to what's taking place downhole and the necessary measures to take thereafter. That concludes this AES Drilling Fluids Tech Tip. Stay tuned for the next one, and if you want to learn more, have a listen to The Flow Line, our podcast. And if you want to improve your drilling fluid performance, please reach out to us at AES Drilling Fluids, where better fluids equal better wells.